Do you know the stash of things that you would like to be doing or should be doing but aren't? You know, the things like, I should make a quilt out of these shirts, all these baby clothes, all these what fill in the blank. Or I should be scrapbooking every year to stay current and keep a tradition alive. My problem is craft supplies. I wish I was doing a lot more. I enjoy doing it. I just don't have time. And so therefore, I need to realistically look at my supplies and see what needs to be there and what doesn't. Hey y'all, I'm Kimberly from Simply Organizing Life. Today we're gonna to be looking at my fantasy self items and what they are. It's nothing, nothing weird. It is just the, in the perfect world, I would be doing X, Y, Z. My ideal self would be crafting all the time and having a lot of fun preserving memories that way. Realistically, I don't value that in this season of my life as far as I don't value it with my time. I don't take the time to stop doing everything to go do a cross stitch. I think it's important to have some things on hand just because if I am in the mood for it, I don't want to have to go to the store and start fresh. I also have to keep busy then. And when I read primarily on an electronic device and, you know, do things like YouTube video recording, it requires a lot of electricity. And so if I'm out of electricity because of a hurricane, maybe I'm going to have a problem. So therefore, I say at least keep a couple things on hand. But does it need to be taking up so much space in your, in your life, in your home to store it? or even the mental space. Because not only are you thinking about, oh my goodness, I should be doing these things. I have, and then there's that guilt that goes with it. So we're gonna tackle my space, and it is behind me um, for a good majority of a lot of my craft supplies. I do have a couple elsewhere that don't fit in this cabinet, but um, I have gone through those already. So we're going to kind of tackle this space and see. I'm going to realistically look at it and see what needs to be there and what doesn't. So as you can see, I have it nice and organized. However, I don't use it and it's, it's sad. It's very sad. So time to go through this and see what I need and see what I don't need and maybe I can downsize a little bit. Here is a prime example of why you should go through this stuff. I have three different types of sewing needles. I don't sew anymore. I did a brief stint of uh, hand sewing when I did a quilt when I many, many years ago now but there's no need for me to be keeping this money. Um, I am definitely getting rid of this because it's not well organized or it's not easy to move and I never use the um, threader here or whatever it's actually called. And I think I am going to try to consolidate the numbers that I have here. Here's another example. I have one white one, which makes sense because you should have a white one if you're working with dark fabric. However, I have two different blue ones. I don't need two different blue ones. So as this one is almost kaput, I'll just keep this other one. And then I have all these buttons. I don't know why I have all these buttons. I did a great job of, you know, organizing them, but I think it's time to, to start letting some of those go. So I'm going to pull out several of these. This right here is a little, um, 
different Christmas themed ones specifically. But once again, it literally just has everything that I would need right here. So to me, this means I should keep this and there's the scheme over here of what everything is and kind of go from that. I have way more than I need to actually, you know, hit all of those, but I don't think there's any reason to expand this collection at this time. And instead, if I start making these, then I can buy more. But in the meantime, this will become my new embroidery or cross stitch stuff for activities when there's no power. These are wire left over from other projects, but I don't feel like I should be keeping it this time. I'm probably gonna keep these and actually put these in my organizing stuff because these are a cute little way you can organize things and kind of code it. Slowly been saving some corks for projects, craft projects, but they have to be real corks and I have a very cri specific criteria. So I will hang on to those because I enjoy doing those type projects and they take a while to accumulate naturally. And then this is actual sandpaper. So that's gonna go live in the garage because that makes more sense. And then my slim pickings of my hot glue gun that I think is very important to have as a crafter. Maybe I can combine it with this. Over here, because I do have some different tapes and stuff like that that I'll use. And then the last thing is just some super glue. So I'm actually gonna add it to the bag of hot glue gun stuff, because this will be glue things. This was an example of going through things that would be considered fantasy self things and asking yourself, is this who I am today? Or is this somebody who I'm wanting to be and I'm not there? All of this stuff is replaceable. I am gonna go donate it because I feel like somebody could use it more than I can at this time. And they might actually enjoy playing with it. So this would be a great thing for them to, to play and to enjoy it way more than I have. Some of this is gonna to go to nieces and nephews. Some of this is getting rehomed, but I am getting rid of quite a few things that I had once thought I needed to keep. And this is after doing a really big declutter before I moved in 2021. So this isn't something that it's a one-time thing and it's a continuous process. You continuously have to work at these things and reevaluate. Is this meeting who I am today? And the answer may surprise you. It may be yes. Be like, yes, I use this on a regular basis or no, sadly, is not who I am right now. And it doesn't mean that you can't be that person. You're just not at this season. So don't let this weigh on you. This could have been a huge guilt ridden area, but I don't let it be. I have other areas that I, as I said, I have a couple of other craft supplies, but I could actually move some of this in here now. I've made more room. Um, I like my stuff to have a little bit of breathing space, so I didn't ever want this to be super crowded, but like I have a little cricket joy that I keep elsewhere. I have room to put that in here now if I wanted to. I have room to put the supplies that go with the cricket joy in here. Um, this drawer is completely empty. So, you know, I still have space in here to do with as I wish. And that is what works for me. I believe in trying to maintain a minimal space. However, minimalism looks different to everybody. It's what is minimal to me and what do I deem essential. So I definitely recommend routinely going through your stuff and evaluating. Is this who I am today? 
But as always, this channel is all about helping you create simple, optimized systems for your everyday life. So if you're enjoying this content, please hit the subscribe button and the like button so that YouTube algorithm knows to help share this with other people. And you won't be missing on any of my future episodes. I think the next video is actually going to be me showing some of my favorite organizational uh, techniques for the office area and office supplies. But once again, you might see me actually decluttering stuff as we go because it is always a process. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And as I said, hit the like button and the subscribe button if you are. I will see you in the next one. Bye now.